Yes, I'm back. Of course, I'm back. You know I couldn't stay away. Well, here's an update on what's going on in Suffolk County in the month that I've been gone. First of all, the festering sewer of corruption in Hop Hog, also known as the Suffolk County Traffic and Parking Violations Agency, has gone from being the most vile, corrupt den of thieves that ever ran a traffic court to one of the best traffic courts in the state. And all they had to do is remove the mafiosa meatball. Uh, fine amounts have been reduced greatly. Not every parking ticket is $480 now, 505 with a credit card. They've actually reduced the fine amounts, which is fantastic news. They also have started dismissing tickets, which is something that was not done in the previous 10 years. I had a BS ticket for 50 and a 45 on Nest Concert Highway recently, and that was dismissed, which is proper, and they're doing it. And they're not doing it with the phony uh, withdraw the ticket BS that the uh, tiny tyrant of Traffic Town thought was a real legal thing because he's a moron. Uh, third, the illegal and usurious double and triple fines uh, upon late payment has been removed from the disposition letters. Uh, I did a whole piece on this where they were doubling your fines if you didn't pay in 30 days, tripling fines if you didn't pay in 60 days. Well, that illegal nonsense is gone. Thank you very much. It's about damn time. And the whole atmosphere at the agency has changed. Uh, it was evil and oppressive and hostile for 10 years, and now it's collegial, just the way lawyers are treated at every other court in creation which not, when it's not run by thieves and criminals. And the last thing I want to say is what a shame our elected officials who knew all about it did nothing the whole time. And what a shame that nobody at Newsday knows the meaning of the word investigative journalism. The festering sewer of corruption.